I, I, I love the team summit from the standpoint that, you know, uh, Christopher, I'm speaking like in third person, but we and John Gray, we touched on some subjects that were real controversial, but they were needed to be touched on. And uh, the kids didn't shy away from them. You know, they spoke their mind. Adults, most of the people that's in the church have been raised in the church, and they've been raised by a church doctrine, which says, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that, you gotta wear long skirts, you can't wear jeans to church, you can't do this, you can't wear earrings, take your makeup off, you know what I'm saying, get, get church by the look code. But it ain't about a look, it's about a stand and a belief in Christ. And it ain't got nothing to do with how you look and how you dress, because the devil can dress up and come to church and shout and be all wrong. So if And it might have skipped a lot of people's minds. She said, you ain't got to church it up. Amen. I want you to expound on that. I want you to just say, what do you mean by church it up? By church it up, I mean, you ain't got to dress a certain way. You ain't got to act a certain way. You ain't got to talk a certain way. You ain't got to pray a certain way. You ain't got to do anything that they tell you. Why you got to just love you and interpret that love the way you feel needs to be interpreted? You ain't got to do anything that they I guess, well, the, the, I guess the most exciting part for us about the whole I Hear Music in the Air experience was the Teen Summit portion of it. Um, the discussions that we were having about, you know, sexuality, um, you know, homosexuality subject, um, you know, promiscuity, all of that. That's right, you know, down the alley of the things that we like to talk about and write about in our music. Um, not your typical, you know, gospel song. But uh, we just like to write it the way God gives it to us. Well, I, I, I present this question um, because it's, it's not just a church. It's this, this, this homosexuality spirit is a foul, aggressive spirit. And it's coming for the young folks, it's coming for the kids, coming for the kids. Because if the young folks accept it as being normal, as being okay, they grow up to be adults, they'll carry it with them and give it to their kids. Okay, it's okay for you to be a homosexual. It's okay for you to like a boy. It's okay for you to like a girl. And the, the reason I ask this question is how do the young people deal with it outside of church? Can I take a stab at that? Well, the first thing that I would recommend is the thing that most church people do not do. That's love one another. First thing. If God is love and you are condemning somebody who apparently has a deficiency in their sexuality, you are you are talking about them, you are condemning them, throwing rocks at them. I mean, you are ready to kill them. Where is God in you? And that's why I believe we need to get the church out of us and get God in us. A lot of us know church, but we have no idea who God is. And it got quiet because that spirit is prevalent. That's what's killing us. The only way to get rid of something that's not God is to become like God. That's love, man. Unadulterated, no compromising, no um, putting up a front love. If somebody has a problem, period, the end of the story, without condemning them, you love them, period. But you pray for what's deficient in them. But you gotta love them because they already feel ostracized. The topic of homosexuality came up and that was good because it's something that is pretty much taboo in the church. It's not talked about. Well, let me take that back. It's talked about, but it's not talked about openly. And if it is talked about openly, it's talked about in a very derogatory, um, dogmatic, uh, 
condemning them to hell kind of um, tone. And my biggest thing is, if we gonna say that we're Christians and God is love, where is the love in us as it relates to everything? Period. From the pulpit on down. 